hello. This is going to be a reading for all beautiful signs. So it is timeless, which means, as I always mention, it doesn't matter when I make it, doesn't matter when I post it. What matters is when it showed up in front of your eyes. That's when spirit wanted you to see it, okay? But it is a general reading. Sure, there's a chance that it could have shown up on your page by accident, but for the most part, I believe that the majority of people that see this on their page, they're, it's there for a reason. That It's really not a coincidence, that it is a sign. But because I'm, I'm just creating it and pushing it out and I'm asking spirit to get it on the page of those that need to see it, you still need to use your, <clears throat> excuse me, use your intuition to know if it's for you. <clears throat> so already I'm having a throat chakra problem here. So somebody's having a problem speaking up. <clears throat> Anyway, back to the reading. Sorry about that. So, um, so it's still a general reading. You still need to use your intuition to know if it's for you or what parts are for you. Now, let's say there's one little part in the reading that um, doesn't fit or something. That doesn't mean the rest of the reading isn't for you. That one little part could have been for somebody specific. So, you know, if you want a personal reading, um, I'll be happy to do that for you. I do a video just like this, upload it to YouTube as private, and um, send you the email within a day or two of you ordering it. Um, or you can catch me on one of my lives. I also sometimes do uh, $10 readings on my lives. So my readings on my website, the typical ones where you order and I make the video and send it to you via link, those start at $20 and go up. Longer readings are better just because you get a lot more information and I can really secure down the message more, but the $20 ones work as well, if that's all you can afford. But um, <clears throat> if you want to order a personal reading, you can do so on my website. The link is down below in the description box. It's www.bossasswitch1111.com. All right, so let's start off by asking Spirit. What this reading is about, we're talking money, love, what's going on here? What is the message for the general collective, all signs today? I've already cleared my space. I always do that before I start the reading. Okay, so there was something in the past that really, really hurt you. I mean, it could be that someone else got hurt, but I think it makes more sense that the message would be for you. We have 10 of swords. And it's like you're reaching out for your magic, but you can't, for your broom, but you can't reach it. So it's like maybe you tried to manifest a different outcome, but you just couldn't do it. Got your black cat there, so a little bit of shadow work. Somebody's running away. They're like hurting you and they're running, running away. But the good thing about the 10 is that that's the end of the cycle. It can't hurt you anymore. Yeah, you were up sad, worried, and sad. But this is nine, meaning again, your nine is close to the end of the cycle. Um, 10 is the end of a cycle. So you're getting close to the end of a cycle where it's not gonna hurt you anymore. You're gonna be able to stop worrying about it. You're not gonna be so hurt. And right now you're just kind of maybe spending time alone and you're sad and maybe doing some shadow work or this could have been something that happened recently. Tell me what else. What else spirits? Like, okay, yeah, you're almost at the end of a cycle. And what's coming in? Mutual love. So I don't know if this is a new person or, you know, who, who hurts you. I'm not sure at this point. But I see two people having a lovely uh, drink on a beach. It's like you're doing your shadow work. There's another calico cat there. So it's like this person... Um, has started to do their shadow work. I don't know. It's just very mutual love. You guys are cheersing. There's the sun, sunset there. It's so beautiful. So that's what's coming in for you. So hang on. Get through the, the nine and ten of swords here because the sun is coming out. The sun is coming out. And you are going to have 
a mutual love with somebody and you might even go on vacation with this person or be sitting on a beach somewhere, some nice ambiance, having some wine. What else spirits? What else is coming in? Tell me more about this two of cups. What else is coming in? So right now, this person coming in wants to rush in, but they do have some shadow work to do. They've got a dragon to slay before they can rush in. They're trying to manifest this. There's a nice giant mountain there. So some kind of big obstacle, which might have been you know, what hurts you or what you're worried about, but you have to know this person is trying to rush in. They do want this mutual love with you. So we have temperance. So that's about patience and balance. So this particular card is telling me to take, you need to take care of yourself. Because when I've looked at this card before, I see a couple of things. I see, first of all, sweets over here. And then the cat's kind of get into a cupcake. But then it's like balancing between not having too many sweets, but also I see water over here. So like drinking your water, there's carrots over here. So like making sure you're eating healthy. She's doing her yoga, so making sure you're exercising. So right now while you're waiting for this person to get their shit together and uh, do their shadow work, you need to be taking care of yourself. You need to be taking care of your physical body. I see a picture of um, nature there. So getting out in nature, um, there's a book there as well. So, you know, studying spiritual knowledge or whatever. She's got, there is, there is a martini there as well. So, um, you know, not drinking too much, just really everything in balance, taking care of yourself. She's got one eye open, one eye closed. So it's like, she's trying to meditate, but she's like, mm, I'm going to keep an eye out here, but yeah, so, and this is number 14, which breaks down to five, you know, one in four is five. So, um, so five means change. This is gonna bring in change. This is you doing your shadow work. This is you balancing everything, taking care of yourself, not having too many sweets, not having too much alcohol. Um, so there's definitely a need for you to do that. Eating your vegetables, drinking your water, like I said, getting out in nature, doing your exercise, take care of yourself right now. That's what's important. This person wants to collaborate with you or you guys will be collaborating in the future. We will find out soon. Um, and it's something creative and working on, you know, it'll bring you in money. You, you guys are a little more concerned with how good of a job you're doing um, and not so much about the money. What else? So maybe that's also telling you also to focus on whatever your soul's purpose is, focus on um, your craft. We have the hermit. So yeah, this is spending time um, alone. And look, she's in nature. What did I say about spend time in nature alone? Go in hermit mode, do your shadow work. I noticed that there's an owl in the tree here. So get in touch with uh, the divine because they have wisdom to share with you. Um, she's meditating. Yeah. So get out in nature and meditate in nature. And that will help you to, you know, obviously if the weather's good, but it also, I noticed that it's another nine. So we, we have two nines Two nines on the board right now. So again, closing to the end of a cycle, going into new one. What else, spirits? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, nice. So we have the judgment card, which is typically usually a spiritual awakening. What do I see in this picture, though? This imagery is a little different. She's playing the flute, so something about music. She's got her cat, so maybe shadow work. She's got a butterfly, so transition. Um, let's look at the picture. So I feel like this is keep your vibes up. You know, you might want to listen to music that helps with that, that keeps you in a more positive state, keep your vibes up. There's lots of things you can do to keep your vibes up. Um, you can, you know, certain crystals you can work with. There's certain like essential oil, like this is, you know, Florida water spray, um, that lifts the vibes. Moldavite is supposed to lift the, lift the vibes, but be careful with Moldavite. It's in, unless you're ready for some major crazy chaotic change. 
um, you know, there's other crystals that can lift the vibes that maybe aren't that drastic. I think even quartz does, but you can just Google what lifts vibrations, you know, everything has a vibration. And so, um, certain essential oils, like I said, just listening to the right kind of music, expressing gratitude, meditating. So that's what you need to be doing right now is taking care of yourself, focusing on your craft, meditating, keeping your vibes up. You, you might be in the process of going through a spiritual awakening. Um, you know, spiritual awakening, it's, it's not all one big giant up. It's ups, downs, sideways, and sometimes you don't even know you're still kind of going through one. But then we have, um, we have the chariot. So normally with the chariot, I think moving forward, success, victory, and I still kind of do, but I also notice she, there's two different roads she can take. And by the way, one is black and one is white. So like yin and yang, I don't know if that has something to do with the twin flame, but it says this way, that way. So she's like, mm, I don't know, which way should I go? So you have some kind of a decision to make, I think. Normally, I don't think that with the chariot, but in this case, with that imagery, I do. She got a little black cat there, so still doing the shadow work. Um, this particular deck has a lot of black cats in it, but you know, I must've picked this deck for a reason. You have, you're, you know, you're, you're definitely in, and we also have the hermit mode, so you're definitely in um, a time in your life where you need to spend a lot of time alone to um, heal your wounds and find out you know, what your soul's purpose is and just learn spiritually. But there's some kind of a decision to be made. We might try and the extent that we might try to pull more on that and figure out what that is. But just to finish up this part of the reading, we have the world and the Ten of Cups. So you're, again, you're going into a new cycle so it might be here that you're going in from a cycle of it hurting you, of being stressed, and then you're gonna go into a new cycle where you know this person's trying to come in, they're telling you the Two of Cups is coming, but for right now, you need to focus on balancing yourself, taking care of yourself, finding your craft, going in hermit mode, keeping your vibes up, and then something about this decision. And then maybe after that, then you're gonna go into like maybe another cycle, or this could be part of that cycle, where you're gonna be feeling on top of the world. Like she is, She's on another beach car. There's a lot of beach here. So you might live in an area where there's a beach or you might be visiting a beach. These people are on the beach. She's on the beach. These other paths look like kind of sandy. So, you know, but maybe she's on vacation. Maybe she lives there. I don't know, but she's got, you know, a picnic too. A lot of, a lot of outdoor activities here. So spend a lot of time outdoors if you can. That's gonna help you. But she's kind of carefree. She's like throwing off her hat. Like I've manifested, I don't need this anymore or something, you know, like, or, you know, yippee when you throw the hat up in the air. So it's something is gonna make you very, very happy. She's also one foot on the sand, one foot in the water. So she's very grounded. She's very balanced now. So that's back to you trying to be balanced. And then we have, like I said, we have the 10 of cups. So that's whatever your 10 of cups is, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever you want. You know, it's very abundant here. Another picnic. So I see two picnics here. So you're going to meet somebody that likes to um, have chill, you know, picnics and go out for wine and just kind of be chill and be outside in nature, which is wonderful. But, you know, I see a family here. I see a child and a baby. They're in love. Look how in love they are. You see that? Staring at each other, even though they've got the kids there. A very abundant picnic. They even brought the cat. They're right next to the, the lake or the river. Um, so lots of emotions. Just beautiful scene for that 10 of cups very nat nature based. So yeah, a lot of out in nature. Maybe this person likes to be out in nature. Maybe you like to be out in nature. Cause like each one of these are pretty much outside. There's that one inside, but they have a giant window that's open. You can see the rolling Hills. That one's inside, but again, giant window. So it might be a need to, to be in nature. So there you go. You know, you had some situation where it hurts you, you were stressed about it, but they're telling you right now you need to just 
relax, balance, breathe, do your yoga, take care of yourself, get in nature, meditate, keep your vibes up. Something about a choice. We're going to get into that. We're going to try to figure more about that in the extended. And in the extended, we're also going to, um, I like to go, you know, say six months to a year sooner what's happening. Because this, I mean, I don't know the timeline on this. This could be 20 years from now. So we're going to go um, and say, what's going to happen with this situation? What's this other person going to do? What's going to happen in the next six months to a year sooner and see what comes out? We'll pull charms. We'll get advice cards. In these extendeds, you know, a lot of synchronicities come out. And that, to me, makes it so magical and so wonderful. Like I said in past videos, I feel like it's like watching like a football game or a baseball game where you kind of sit there and it's fun to be there. It's fun to be around the ambiance, but that minute when they make a home run or a touchdown, you know, that's the moment you've been waiting for. That's when it gets exciting and it's kind of makes it all worth it. So it's like when those synchronicities come out, I feel the same way. So I think they're worth it. Um, I've had, you know, a lot of people tell me they like my extendeds and my readings. So, um, I think they're worth it, but if you want to continue watching and find out more, like if you think this is for you and you want to know what's going to happen, I mean, clearly we already know. I've already told you, you're going to have the world 10 of cups, two of cups. So something good is coming, but if you want to know like timing and you want more details and maybe find out what happens before that happens, like, is there any hiccups? Is there any, you know, what kind of um, problems might you have? Whatever, more information. Um, you can go down to my description box below and click the link that says, you know, for my bonus slash extended, click here. It'll take you to my Patreon. You'll notice that it says it's $5.55. Just so you know, that's not just for this one reading. That is, you get access to all of the readings that I've done when I, from when I've started until now. So there's a lot of readings. And then access um, for this reading on forward for whatever month you pay for. It says it's monthly, but you can cancel at any time. You don't have to keep doing it, although I do appreciate it if you stay a patron. Um, it does support me, keeps me able to continue to make these readings and um, keep doing this if people you know, do sign up. Um, plus, it gets you access to my exclusive content, so nobody else can access this unless you're a patron. You're the only person, you and all the patrons are the only people that can actually access um, this exclusive information. So... Um, I think it's worth it for $5.55 a month to have access to all these extendeds. That's pretty awesome. But um, if you do, like I said, you can go down to the description box below and click that link and it'll take you to my Patreon. I do have other tiers you can check out. Um, and then some bundle deals or whatever. You can check those out. Otherwise, you know, just look at this. If by chance, like I said, after watching this reading, you're just still not sure, and maybe you do watch the extended and you're still not sure, or there's something else you, you're wondering about, or you just want a different kind of reading. I have soul purpose, life purpose. I do, I have a couple decks for like messages from people that have passed, so I can do some mediumship there. Um, just all kinds of different, I got too hot for, you know, tic-tac type, like a sexy reading for, you know, love reading. Um, twin flame reading specific where I use more twin flame cards. It's just all kinds of different readings. Um, you can go to my website. The link is down below in the description box. It's www.bossasswitch1111.com. So yeah, I create a video just like this. I upload it to YouTube as private and then I send you the link within a day or two, maybe three if I get super busy, but probably a day or two. Um, by the way, if you ever do order one of my readings and you don't hear back from me or something, check your uh, spam box first, but also let me know if you don't because I want to make sure you're getting the reading. You know? um, sometimes when I send it out, if people don't hear back, I wonder, did they get it? You know, Did it go to their spam folder? Did they think that I just didn't send it? You know, So definitely follow up, please. Um, okay. So, yeah, and um, like I said, the only place you can buy a reading from me is on my website. So if somebody comes at you on the comments and is like, hey, send my payment to WhatsApp, that's not me. There are people out there, you gotta be very careful in this world, and I'm not talking even about tarot reading, like there's just spammers and scammers out there everywhere. Like, even on dating apps, you gotta be really careful. Don't give personal information out either, like don't give your social security number out. You know, even you got to be careful with some of these scammers because if you tell them, like if you're dating somebody and they're like, what's your favorite movie, they can use that to access your accounts and stuff. So be very, very careful, please. I've, you know, 
I've dealt with, you know, I've done um, dating online for a long time, so I know their game, but um, just be very careful with who you're talking to. But that's the only place you can order a reading from me is on that website. So you know if you're ordering on that website, it's legit. So anyway, um, yeah, but before I go and get into the extended, if you could like, share, comment, subscribe, definitely subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you know when I come out with a new video and you make sure that you get it. Um, and all that stuff helps me to grow my channel, which will help me to help other people. You know, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So if you're supporting us light workers, then, you know, you're basically supporting helping people and helping the world and lifting the vibrations of the world. Cause that's what us twin flames are supposed to be out doing. And so we're trying, we're trying, we're working. So, you know, every little like comment, share, it's free. It takes a second, you know, can help us out. So we really appreciate it. When you make comments, I appreciate so much hearing from you. Um, I read them all. I mean, even if I don't respond, I definitely um, read them and it feels good to know somebody's watching and somebody is actually getting something out of it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to motivate and help people. So um, I love your comments. I also love to make friends. So please comment, share, subscribe, all those things. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the extended.